talking about today is what's your goal? Right? Okay. Let me ask you, what's your goal in life? My goal in life is to become the very best I can be and help other people become the very best they can be so that we can simultaneously address the root cause of every single man-made problem there is and live a, the very best future for the world, for our kids to be the very best they can be and live the best lives possible. Okay, that's good. Do you think there's a higher goal than these things? Like for instance here, you have education, becoming better, health, children, wealth, all these things yeah. and finding love and eventually you die, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is there a higher goal to life than just this? Well, I think we can take it back further than all those and I think the highest goal should be to think before we act. Okay. The very most important goal is to think. Because usually we think of our emotions, not a rational thought. But I think we need to use this effort, which we're unwilling or unable to use. We have to use our effort to think. So we can come to conclusions ourselves, when we're formally likely to act on it ourselves. Sure. So okay, that's ourselves. good. So if I was to ask you, this thing here is made of metal, is made of plastic, is made of these simple things, right? You can, if you get a bit of metal and plastic, right because we want to do some thinking right and you put the metal and plastic in a bag and you shake it around for a million years right but well, why would you do that only an idiot would shake a bag around for a million years what a reasonable person will do is think about the most relevant and important discussions that they should be having with themselves no no it's true i agree but i'm giving you this example to show you that something can't come together by chance so if this well, I think everything has came together by purely by chance, through chaos. So, do you believe that the whole universe can come together by chance? Yeah. Okay. It clearly has, has it not? Well, that's something we're thinking about, which is well, what we're thinking about. Well, clearly it has. But, like you said, the goal of life is to think before we act. So, we're thinking right now. If I was to ask you, that building back there, can that building come together by chance or does that building have an architect that made it? A designer that made it? Well, it can have multiple dimensions of truth to it. So it can be, part, part of it will be probability, and the other part will be conscious design effort. Sure. Now, about that building, what's more likely, if it has a design or if it came together by chance? What do you think? I think it's a combination of both, and never just one single factor. So, but there is a designer involved, right? There is a designer involved in the building, yeah. yes. Sure. And the constructing so, in the same way, the universe is more complex than the building. But it's not, it's, the universe exhibits more chaos than order. In what way? In that th things are random, things are chaotic, n nothing is still, nothing is ordered, nothing is, everything changes, nothing's never the same eternally. But we have physical, chemical and biological laws within the universe, right? These are laws that govern the universe. So it shows that there's order. There's a degree of uh, construction involved here. Yeah. yeah, so if a building can't come together by chance, then how can the universe? Because, well, the building came about from conscious design. Yeah. The universe, as far as we know, there was, we have no evidence to suggest there was a conscious construction of it. There was existence and then existence changed. Well, couldn't we say that the evidence is the fact that the universe is designed and it has order. This is evidence of the creator, what? right? I mean, there is evidence. I don't think it's evidence of a creator. I think it's evidence that the universe operates within certain laws of functioning. And where do you think these laws came from? Do you think they're just by chance that you have the laws of the universe? Or there's a conscious lawgiver who gives them these laws? Well, honestly, I think there's a certain balance about everything. And I think, uh, what was your question? Simple and condensed, no problem. My simple, my simple question condensed, let's, let me get to the root of it, is that if you look at the design of the universe, right? Yeah. And I believe that the design is best explained by a creator and that's what I'm trying to get to. I think it's best to explore why you believe it was designed by a creator. Why was it? Because I believe that things which are ordered, yeah. things that which have laws, things which have clear complexity, I don't believe can be a product of chance. They must have a creator, designer, architect. Does that make sense?
does make full sense, yes. Yeah. So what, what we as Muslims believe the goal of life is, which is the question we came to, the goal of life, is to worship that creator that created everything. How is that a better goal than to become the very best you can be and help everyone else become the best they can be? That, that, that's How is your goal more important than my goal? That's a very good question. These two goals don't conflict each other. The goal I'm speaking about is the ultimate goal. The goal that you have, so that you spoke about, for all. yeah, I, I agree with that goal. But that is the secondary goal. The primary goal of life, according to the Creator, yeah. is to worship the Creator. Well, if we follow that for another thousand years, we'll be extinct. But if we do it my way, we'll like, actually have a chance. No, but the thing is, human beings well, are going to... No, but the thing is, if things keep on going as they do, we're going to be extinct. We are. Yeah. But the thing is, look, life's going to... Worshipping gonna... anything isn't going to solve it. Thinking and developing yourself into the very best you can be. That will solve it. Well, you can have both things because the Creator wants you to be the best that you can be. And look, the best one that can tell you about this equipment here is the one who designed it. So the best one that can tell you about the universe is the one who designed it. I think the universe is chaos and we as conscious entities can structure that chaos to make it more understanding for us. Okay. But anyway, thank you so much for your time. Can I leave you with... <laughs> Can I leave you with uh, this thing? What's your goal? And it has. I've already got a lifelong plan for the goals. Okay, but this is something maybe. It's got a website there. Maybe it'll help you to think about life, purpose, and these things.